Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and get started. It's um, 17.05, 5 o'clock p.m., five minutes after, so I'm a little late. I apologize for that. <clears throat> this is uh, the week one Zoom session for LDR 490, Leadership Capstone. Okay, <clears throat> so Leadership Capstone implies um, this is your final uh, journey uh, or final uh, step on the journey of your uh, matriculation at University of Mount Olive in the leadership program. At this point, you should have already had uh, your other courses, uh, LDR 300, which is leadership. You had 340, case studies, 360, innovation. Uh, 440, which was probably conflict. 460, which is uh, teams, and we're missing one in there, uh, leading change, um, probably a 340 or 360. Anyway, I'll look it up, it's in the syllabus. But uh, what this is designed to do is encapsulate uh, all your work to date. You are to read um, no textbook for this course. This particular class, is uh, take a for-profit JW uh, Bill Marriott without reservations, take a non-profit, okay, uh, Robert Watson, Salvation Army. You're going to read them and you're going to answer a number of questions and you're going to apply uh, what you have already learned uh, predominantly. Okay. So uh, every week there will be a forum discussion. I will post a question for uh, for everybody to answer. This week's question does not require the tech or the uh, two books. Uh, it's a simple internet search and uh, it, I'll talk about it here in just a minute. The other weekly requirement is that you turn in a written assignment. And that written assignment, as I'm scrolling down to show you, is a, uh, again, answer a question in a one to two page paper. In this case, analyze the mission uh, and mission statements of both organizations. So you gotta go find the mission statements. Again, doesn't require uh, the tech, the two books in case anybody's having a trouble with it. So you should be able to get these two done. All right. The overall course is predominantly set up uh, in that fashion. So every week you will have a discussion forum question. Every week you will have a written assignment question. And then starting in week three, you will start building your uh, paper. Okay, as I've scrolled down here and I'm um, looking at the Moodle shell. Um, here in week three, you see chapter one of the final project. Okay, I'll talk more about this here in just a bit. But you're going to load every week, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. You're going to load five chapters into your final project research paper. Okay, in other words, we're not waiting until... Uh, that weekend of week eight to write our final paper. Uh, you're going to do it in kind of on the installment plan. All right. And I'm going to look at these where you've uh, uploaded them. I'm not going to grade them, uh, but there shouldn't be any reason why uh, any, uh, any marked requirement is a surprise or that there's going to be any, uh, any major issues. Okay. This is too easy of a class. Now, having said that, it's an easy class. Let me tell you one of the reasons why it's easy. One of the reasons why it's easy is we are going to use a different style um, that you may not be used to. And what we're going to use in this course is something that's called Socratic method. In the Socratic method, 
Uh, I'm going to pull it up here in just a second so that you can see what I'm talking about. Um, for what is also known as the Socratic Seminar. All right, so here we go. We uh, so This came out of your weekly assignment. I'll send these out every uh, every week. And again, the thrust of this course, take a book covering a for-profit, book covering a not-for-product, compare and contrast, while recapping, expanding on leadership principles, concepts, traits, principles, associated aspects that have been covered as core requirements for leadership. You're going to weave two books together. And there was a third. I think we'll uh, probably leave that one out this time around. Uh, not because it's not good, it is very good, but just to make it a little bit easier. In these previous LDR courses, um, yeah, I've got case studies of leadership. There's innovation, conflict resolution, leading change, and 460. Okay, so all these leadership courses that you've had, you're going to synthesize, reflect, and span upon. Okay, Socratic seminar fashion is a method to try to understand information by creating a dialogue based on a specific text. In other words, participants are going to seek deeper meaning and understanding of complex ideas through rigorously thoughtful dialogue rather than memorizing bits of information or meeting arbitrary demands for coverage. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, it means that if I am having you analyze the mission statement for both organizations, that's probably implying that you're going to be able to find the mission statement for both organizations. And, uh, and then we will talk about it, okay? Not that I'm trying to trick you or anything like that, but we're going to uh, get into this a little bit more than just go on a scavenger hunt. All right, since we're going to have limited contact, since it's an online course, uh, we need to make sure we understand what we're doing. That means we're prepared to contribute uh, some of our discussions. Uh, that participation grade is based on your willingness to engage in discussions. And uh, let's go take a look at that. Excuse me. I'm sorry for that. Give me for that. All right, let's get back to our LDR screen. And we're going to take a look at. Grade book. So there's 50, 75, there's our discussion forums, okay? We're 25. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, six of you. I think there was a seventh, but um, that person dropped off. So um, for all you ladies, good. Welcome aboard. And uh, so that is generally how the course is structured, okay? So let's take a look here real fast at the uh, Moodle shell. Make sure we understand what's going on. Here's our general page. As you uh, look at it, there might be some slight differences between what your page looks like and what mine does. But the material is all still there. The two books. Okay, announcements. I'm going to really key in here. Make sure you check in the announcements every week. Okay? Uh, that is where you will find these emails that are coming to you. Uh, welcome aboard the syllabus, assignment instruction. Okay, the heads up. The heads up was, and is, 
that I still need a couple of you to acknowledge the uh, syllabus. And I'll uh, show you where you do that here in just a second. The syllabus, the supplement, uh, letter from me, a uh, little info about me, where I take the attendance. Okay, Zoom session, you're here, all right? Uh, these will be posted to YouTube. There will be here in this uh, area, shared video, a link. You will go in here and you'll find week one. You'll see a small amount of text that I put in there talking about what I've covered in week one, Zoom session. And, uh, and then go to the link and that'll happen for all the weeks, one through eight. Okay, these are, uh, these are not mandatory. Uh, attendance of the Zoom session is op optional for you. The, uh, if you want to just sit in and observe, that's fine. If you want to uh, watch it on YouTube, that's fine. If you want to get ahead of the game and join, uh, that's really phenomenal. And I'd appreciate it. If, um, and then I'm at, located at the uh, University of Mount Olive Jacksonville campus during these Zoom sessions. In fact, I'm in classroom number two uh, right now. That will uh, most likely remain through the weeks of this uh, course. The link here to join a Zoom meeting, it's so easy, you can do it off your smartphone. Um, and then there's some um, informational links here of how to create a Zoom account, how to do your own Zoom meeting, how to upload a video on YouTube using Zoom. I mean, any number of that and added resources, okay? Uh, and there's technology, technology support and services. This uh, is put up here so that you understand. Uh, there may be times where you're having an issue uploading a file to uh, Moodle. First thing that I would do is check to make sure that you haven't uh, busted the suspense time. Okay, a lot of the things that uh, I require of you is to have it uploaded no later than a certain date and time. Uh, you can upload it any time uh, from the day you read that mes message. Uh, for example, you can upload your paper tonight, uh, your final paper. I don't recommend you doing that, but you can. And uh, you can upload it up until that suspense date and time for that paper. Uh, or for whatever it is. Once that time date has expired, you won't be able to upload, okay? Now, there are times when there are exigencies and things out of your control. If it's something that we didn't foresee that it was out of your control, then, uh, then we'll correct. If not, um, then we just have to understand, not unlike a workplace, missed uh, suspenses, is not a good thing, okay? All right, anyway, if there are any other issues or things related, um, this is where you go because I can't go in and fix Moodle for you, okay? So if you're having a password issue or things aren't uploading, either we've ex exceeded the uh, time frame to upload or there is an issue going on that requires you to contact the help desk, okay? Noting here, students are strongly encouraged to complete or at least start the weekly assignments and exams while the Moodle help desk is open. This may seem like common sense, but you'd be surprised. So, help desk is open uh, obviously, Monday through Fridays uh, from 08 to 1700. Moodle, they work it Monday through Thursday from 1300 to 2200, 10 p.m. Friday from 11 to 20, 100, 8 p.m. And then they're closed on weekend and holiday. So, uh, in part, what they're trying to do is get you to work ahead of that suspense date to make sure that uh, you do have the support you need. Okay, enough of that. 
this is the first thing that I was uh, mentioning that I need you all to do. Acceptance of the syllabus form. Uh, go in and read the syllabus. You will then insert the following statement into the forum. I have read, understand, and accept the terms of the course syllabus. Sign off by your name, your full student name, please. And then uh, ask a question of me related to the course, uh, the structure, the syllabus, assignments, the contact, anything you want. Okay. If you do not want me to, or do not want to ask me a question, that's perfectly legit too. For example, we've already had two that have already uh, posted and I appreciate that. And uh, I think in both cases, uh, they did not need additional information. So we just kind of left it at that. All right, uh, up to you. All right, discussion forum, uh, as I said, this is, um, this is not a scavenger hunt per se. This is a question with a reason behind it. In this case, your discussion forum, you're to go online um, and find the history of the Salvation Army, preferably uh, the Salvation Army organization as a whole. In other words, where it started. If you want to limit that search to uh, the Salvation Army of America or a local chapter, you can do that, but that's going to be a little bit more difficult. All right, and uh, and then Marriott, okay, find their histories and then provide a timeline uh, for each company. Now, listen carefully to this piece. Both organizations have been around for a long time. Salvation Army has been around for over a hundred years. Both organizations do a lot. If I don't put a restriction on you, you're going to be churning out an incredibly detailed timeline that is going to take up a lot of space. So as you read the rest of the question, don't make this too difficult. Take three to five major events in the organization's history and then examine from a leadership perspective the importance of that event on the organization. All right, so what am I getting at? You go online and you're gonna do a timeline for both organizations. In those timelines, you're gonna pick three major events. I don't care which three, purely up to you, okay? But those, the three or five that you pick, you need to then, from a leadership perspective, be able to articulate to us why it was important on, uh, on the organization. So as an example, in a timeline for the Salvation Army, you may find Ray Kroc's widow. Uh, Ray Kroc, famous for owning uh, or starting and owning ultimately McDonald's. His widow, when she passed away, uh, bequeathed, what was it? Um, $1.3 billion, something like that. It's in your book. We'll read about it but essentially donated a, uh, a significant amount of money <laughs> to Salvation Army. What would be a leadership issue behind that? So as an example, um, the signature event for, uh, for Salvation Army is what? The red kettles at Christmas time, right? Okay, so a volunteer stands out in front of food line and is ringing the bell as people go up and dump change into a red kettle. Signature event, fundraising event, right? Okay, if you just gotten $1.3 billion from, uh, <laughs> from a benefactor, do you even need to be doing the red kettles anymore? Um, I'm sorry, I said 1.3, late Joan Kroc uh, bequeathed $1.6 billion. Okay, so from a leadership perspective, 
you uh, you may not need that event anymore as technically a fundraiser, but you need to keep it because it's a uh, significant symbol of your culture uh, and of your organization. Okay, if I don't see people in front of food lines anymore ringing a bell, am I to think then the Salvation Army's got away? So this is the type of thing that I'm trying to get across. So as you do your discussion, it isn't just a, hey, this was important because this year they were born. Okay, I get that, but let's let's dig a little deeper into it, okay? Uh, and as we dig in, we're gonna use mostly Socratic method, which means most of you will be doing the talking. Uh, I will not be, okay? My job is to set you all up for the discussion and let you uh, run free. Okay. That discussion gets put up uh, on Wednesday night, no later than 23.59, okay? I used to say midnight, and then people got confused as to when midnight is. Okay, is Wednesday midnight Wednesday night, or is Wednesday midnight uh, Tuesday night? Okay, yeah. Anyway, not a problem, we got that figured out. Okay, then you have until Friday, 23.59, to comment on two of your fellow learners' posts at a minimum. I'd love you to comment on everybody's, okay? This is your course, have fun with it, okay? Teach, teach each other instead of your instructor doing it, okay? But respond to others, okay? And this should be more than a, hey, I agree, disagree, you did a great job, okay? Get, get some personal analysis of this, and let's make the post meaningful and on point. All right, your written assignment. Again, analyze the mission and mission statements. Is due on Saturday at 23.59. So you post your answer to the question on Wednesday, you respond to two of your fellow learners, minimum postings by Friday, you upload the answer to the question on Saturday. And we'll do that every week and rinse and repeat, okay? By week three, when we start talking about the chapter, you're going to get in the habit of uploading that chapter into Moodle um, by 23.59 on Sunday evenings, okay? Your final class uh, paper, final research paper, is due on 23.59 Sunday, the 3rd of May, okay? Seems like it forever from now, doesn't it? Be here fast. All right, and then there's a whole write-up right here on Moodle that explains uh, exactly what you got to do. Okay. The topics of these chapters is um, up to you. In other words, what we're looking for here is topics that you would have uh, read or covered in the LDR previous course textbook that you're seeing popping up in here. So maybe your chapter for week three is on um, ethics and chapter week four is on culture and chapter week five is on teamwork. Chapter on, okay, you see what I'm getting at? So, you know, those, uh, chapters that you had in LDR 300, coincidentally enough, become uh, the basis of really uh, the uh, three to five major points that you're bringing out each, uh, each week, okay? If not, again, all your other courses will do the same. Leading change, teamwork, et cetera, okay? All right. So we've got all that set. And 
We know where we're looking. All right. Okay, so um, other aspects that are in this, involved in this, there is under the supplemental syllabus. You go into that is additional information and instruction regarding uh, things like academic integrity, what is considered cheating in University of Mount Olive. I will tell you that I want you to review this, make sure you understand it, because I'm already going through it again on a, another class that I'm teaching right now, where the similarity report, okay, if you go down to where your paper is due, it's called, uh, it's called Turn It In Assignment 2. Okay, and Master Gunner Sergeant uh, MacArthur basically runs that enterprise. Um, but anyway, yeah, subject, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, I think we got that. Just about beat down the parade rest. Let me uh, let me share with you uh, PowerPoint slides real fast. All right. So, uh, one of the things that you'll see me talk about a lot in uh, previous coursework, and this one, is I can wrap up your leadership uh, matriculation in one slide. Okay, slide that's in front of you. Organizational success only takes uh, seven things. Very simple concepts of who's and how's. Who to recruit, who to hire, who to promote, who to make senior leaders. How do you organize? How do you equip? How do you train? And more uh, most importantly, how do you execute your mission? It really is this simple. Get all seven of these right, you're cruising. Get any of them uh, wrong, and you're in deep trouble. Get any more than two uh, wrong, you're going to start self destructing Simple as that. If you can't hire the right people, if you haven't promoted the right people, if you don't have the right people as your mid-level management, uh, if you don't know how to organize your company, how to equip it, how to train it, how to let it execute on its own, uh, you're never gonna see that money, okay? All right, capstone. So there you see our uh, two texts books are textbooks. Our two books there, Marriott and Salvation Army. Going to weave that and meld it through uh, the DAF text, if so, still have it. Ellard's text. There's search sheets um, that maybe you just finished. Negotiation was superb. Um, organizational change has uh, changed, but still good. And then Lee Thompson's book on managing the team. Hey, if you're still getting the Wall Street Journal, uh, use that. I'd love you to bring it in. Okay, this is again talking about how we did it. All right, Socratic seminar. It's a method to try to understand by creating in-class dialogue based on a specific text. In other words, let's, uh, let's engage in thoughtful dialogue rather than just memorizing our um, Arbitrary clips like a okay. All right, Where my dog go? Okay. So uh, that's okay. Let me um, got five minutes. Let's cover something here more. Okay.
All right. Um, take a look at these slides. These are to help you. These are uh, just some that you've had in LDR 300. Remember in week four, uh, not week four anymore, but now in, uh, what is that, week seven? Strategic leadership, mission. Okay, what's, uh, what is it that we do is that is enduring? Okay, understanding the linkage between visions, strategies, plans, okay. Leadership creates the vision. Where are we? Where we want to head? And then management is right there in step, laying out how we're going to get there. Okay. And then making sure we understand trends and trend lines. Uh, environmental analysis, SWOT, certainly important. And then, of course, the buy end curve that achieves alignment is very critical. All right. I think we got it. And so let's um, let's wrap this up for tonight. I appreciate your attention. And let's see. Of course, I screwed that up. All right. Well, we're finished anyway, so everybody have a good night and look forward to um, reading your posts.